Hi, thanks for tuning in with me again on YouTube. You know, I've had a tremendous response from the videos I've posted over the last couple of years, and I want to thank everybody for subscribing and watching those videos and all the great comments and feedback that I've had back. I'm Wilson Bickford. I'm a prof professional artist and author, and uh, I'm going to show you, uh, I've had some really exciting developments in my career over the past uh, several months here. I've had a great opportunity bestowed upon me. Uh, I was approached by a major art retailer and art manufacturer of art supplies uh, about doing a signature line of products for me. So in the coming months, not available yet as of the, this filming, it's October 2010, but sometime in early 2011 they should be available. Um, I have a signature line of oil painting products, um, brushes, paints, palette, canvas, a bunch of stuff. I do have the brushes, some of the brushes are ready here that I want to describe to you. These are kind of made specifically for wet on wet, although they're good for other purposes too. This is a two inch scenery brush and one inch scenery brush. These are good for your backgrounds, like so many of you are used to with the wet on wet technique, but I've decided to put a bevel on them because uh, that makes it really handy for doing foliage techniques and other things. Uh, it just kind of gives it more flexibility, more versatility. I have a couple different size fan brushes that we're all used to. Fans are good for a lot of things, as you know, for grasses, clouds, water. I have, uh, which is kind of unique to my line, a couple of what I call texture brushes. These are much coarser than the scenery brushes and they're great for doing texture of grasses and trees and bushes. They're a very coarse, stiff bristle and almost like a stencil brush. Not quite, but very stiff and rugged and uh, they're great for texture. I've used brushes like these for years, ones that I've gotten from hardware stores. They're commonly known as a chip brush or a utility brush. But I said, as long as we're designing a line, let's go for it. And I said, these, we're gonna incorporate these into the line. I also have uh, a round brush and a nice synthetic filbert brush. And you know me, I do a lot of barns and buildings. I have a nice rake brush here that I will use for barn board texture, hair, grasses, that sort of thing. And a nice small flat brush for details. My favorite is the large number 10 flat brush which is synthetic hair. This comes to a really nice razor edge. It's perfect for doing cutting in really precise areas because it holds that really straight edge. I use it a lot for florals. I'm going to do an upcoming floral video here that you'll see on YouTube using this brush. A couple of liners. I have what I call a detail liner which is a little smaller. And this one is a very long, now this still has the sizing on it because it's brand new, that's why it looks so stiff. It needs to be washed out. But I have a very long, extra long script liner that's going to be great for doing branches, limbs, blades of grass, any long lines that we need. I've been wanting a long liner like that for years and years. Finally got one. And a nice mop brush for doing basic blending and actually, believe it or not, this can be used for a lot of foliage techniques. Works very well for that as well. And I have a couple small knives, not the typical wet on wet knife that you're used to, but I prefer this style. I've got a large one. Sometimes I do strictly just knife paintings. So I want a large one and then a smaller one for the detail areas. I also have canvas coming up in the line and a full line of paints and the whole deal. So I'm hoping you'll check it out. And again, thanks for checking me out here on YouTube. Uh, you will find my products available when they, be, when they become avail available. You'll be able to purchase them at my website, wilsonbickford.com. And don't forget to check me out on Facebook and my blog as well. You'll find information on my website for those. I've got to thank Obsidian Custom Video for doing the filming for me today. They do a great job. Check them out as well. Take care and I'll catch you down the road.